my lawyers. Franked by his lawyers and the NUP MPs, Mitiana Municipality MP Francis Zake appeared before the Committee of Rules, Discipline and Privileges to defend himself against allegations of misconduct. Whatever. Zake is accused of using unparliamentary language through his Twitter page to demean the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Anita Monk, and the legislature. From the onset, Zake challenged the jurisdiction of the committee to investigate his case. According to Zake, the committee can only investigate matters of misconduct that occur within the precincts of parliament and not outside and by implication social media platforms. That I challenge this committee's jurisdiction to investigate matters alleged to have happened outside the precincts, the precincts of parliament. As such, I am here only out of respect I have for you, honorable colleagues, and this institution, but necessarily not to defend myself. We strongly object to the suggestion that this committee, or indeed any other committee of parliament, has jurisdiction to entertain a matter regarding uh, social media allegations. Members shall at all times conduct themselves in a manner which will maintain and strengthen the public's trust and confidence in the integrity of Parliament and never undertake any action which may bring the House or its members generally into disrepute. And the word I'm talking about is at shall at all times address your mind to it when you are raising your issues of jurisdiction. However, what is in contention is the interpretation of Rule 85 Appendix 7 of the Parliamentary Rules of Procedure on general behaviors which states that at all times a member of parliament shall conduct him or herself in a manner that does not put the house in disrepute. The meaning of at all times is now the matter of contention. Despite denying the Twitter posts, Zake challenged the manner in which the matter was sent to the committee. According to him, Deputy Speaker Anita Monk should be the subject of investigation. It is on account of that alleged but unproven social media response that the same Deputy Speaker who made fun of my pain and humiliation referred to me to this committee for trial in courts. It is also on account of that alleged response that my honorable colleagues, especially from the ruling party, are now mobilizing themselves into a vicious mob to lynch me on the floor of parliament in ascension that will be presided over by the same deputy speaker, regardless of the outcome of these proceedings. Zake indicated that he had been hurt when a monk questioned the torture method against him after the Mitiana Municipality MP won a gold medal at the last year's East African Parliamentary Games. Those comments suggest that either my deputy speaker thinks that I have been lying about being tortured, or that I exaggerated the extent of injuries I suffered on each of the five times I have been mercilessly tortured in the last four years. Or she meant that torture is a blessing in disguise for its victims and in such a trivial matter in this country. Zake will return to the committee with his lawyers on Wednesday. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.